A ruling from a southern state court sending shockwaves all around the country as it throws into question the future of in vitro fertilization. Of course, that's an option so many couples look to as they start a family. Well, this week, the Alabama State Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos used in IVF are considered children. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb shares how lawmakers here in Tennessee are reacting. Following the Alabama Supreme Court ruling classifying frozen embryos as people, several in vitro fertilization clinics there are pausing operations. And now lawmakers here are weighing in on implications for Tennessee. I have family members who've used that. I have friends who've used in vitro fertilization. And, and to me, that's very pro-life to use in vitro fertilization. And in a political environment where Republicans and Democrats are so often at odds, today, on the issue of IVF, they appeared in agreement. The other side seems to always be pro-family. This is probably the least pro-family thing the Alabama Supreme Court could do. Th those conversations came up here in Tennessee and they didn't advance here, so th that's where I'm at. I just want to make sure that we're pro-life all the way. And I, I, don't, I don't know how pro-life that was. And Governor Lee spoke out too, though not taking as firm a stance. Asked about it at a governor's forum put on by Politico, saying Thursday, the issue is new and I haven't looked at the particulars of that case, but generally I'm supportive of IVF. It's the next step in what we look at as policymakers. Another very difficult, emotional, personal issue as fallout from a decision in Alabama can be felt hundreds of miles away. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.